If the music in the background didn't give it away, this is Cook Serve Delicious. <laughs> we just have to appreciate the song. Delicious! <laughs> to cook. Such a good song. <laughs> so stupid. It's got three words, I'd like to point out. Uh, technically, four words. Cook Serve Delicious. Two. Every now and again, you get a two. Cook Serve Delicious. delicious. And then wait for it. Oh no, not quite yet. Delicious. Cook, serve, Cook, serve, delicious. And then suddenly dramatic piano. Cook, cook it, serve it. Delicious. Yes. Cook it, serve, delicious. It's the world's best theme song, and it is incredibly. Incredibly beauteous to behold. Anyway, I've got a save file I'm starting from because I've done lots and lots of things in this game already. It is hugely compelling if you've never played Cook Serve Delicious. Essentially, what you do in the game is you cook it, you serve it, and you pretty much kind of just hope it's delicious, I suppose. There's no evidence given that it is delicious. Although I suppose you do get smiley faces if you do it well. I'm, I'm currently apparently level 28 with two and a half star restaurant. I've got 120 emails. That's quite a lot of emails to catch up on. And I, I've just got lots and lots of money it would seem. And in the background here, you can see all of this. I don't know if my mouse cursor is showing off or not. It might not, question mark, it might do. Anyway. <laughs> We'll, we'll hope for the best on that front and point things out if not. So this is my custom designed restaurant. I chose all of the bits and bobs and put it all together. So I chose that massive light in the middle. I chose to have booths instead of tables. A nice sort of red, sort of painted wall. <laughs> How did you stall on the word wall? I don't know. I honestly don't know. And they've got this little sort of the years of PlayStation controller, I think, because that, that's PS1, isn't it? PS2. One would assume that's PS3 and then PS4, finally. So it's the four generations of PlayStation controller, which is a peculiar thing to have, but who am I to judge? And then we have these fancy, weird, artistic separators as well. Nice bit of red wooden flooring and a beautiful sort of red countertop. I went all very red. Red in my restaurant. So that's my personal restaurant, and then you can also work in other restaurants as well. I'll tell you what though, what I'm gonna do is do a quick second restaurant, choose a blank slot, because I don't want to overwrite my current restaurant, because I like my current restaurant. What do we want as walls? That's my current wall type. That's a very rainbowy red one. That might go quite well, actually. A bland sort of wall, a sort of cityscape, if I wanted a cityscape on my wall. Nice sort of just wood panelling. That makes it look a bit like a bathroom. I don't know, there's something about those tiles. Now, I grant you, the tiles are filthy as well, which doesn't help a fucking restaurant, but those tiles do look a little bit bathroomy. Uh, blank, oh, that's a bit red in your face. That's weird, but compelling. Yellow brick wall, brown brick wall. Ugh. <laughs> That's horrible wallpaper. Very green, many bricks, and then grey. Okay, so I'm torn between the freaky deaky wood triangles and the hyper colour. I think I'm gonna go freaky deaky triangles. It doesn't quite mesh with later plans, I don't necessarily think, but Mm, fuck it, we'll have it. So I could put in sort of a brick wall, but that doesn't doesn't one hundred percent mesh. No, in fairness, neither of those mesh. So I can only undo one, which means I'm gonna have to go in and delete that somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to work this system. What sort of floor do we want? Hard surface floor. I've only got three options available. Nasty. Mm, the red flooring is probably the best. Do it. Have I unlocked any carpets? No, I have not unlocked any carpets. I don't really want the bland old floor, but I also really don't like that. And I just, I mean, that will have to do. <laughs> it's the only other option. Create windows. Okay, so you've got standard windows, round windows, portholey windows, big windows, little windows, big window off to the side, big windows off to the top, two little windows, 
some slit windows, a big, a big hoopy window, two big hoopy windows, small square, triple square. Steamy windows! Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Lots and lots of windows. Ooh, what do I want as my windows? Full window! That would completely remove the point of having the freaky deaky triangles. I kinda like maybe the sort of pillory windows. And that's that's pillar e windows, not pillory windows, because pillory windows would be something completely different. I don't know if I like. I think I like the three or the two. I think it's two strips there. That will do nicely. Now lights, global lighting. This is sort of roughly the colour you're going to get in your restaurant. So fluorescent side box is fine, maybe. Then all sorts of fanciful lighting fixtures here. I do have a rough theme in mind. I don't know if I'm going to actually get to said theme. So these are ceiling lights. What the hell? Ceiling table lights, I see. Okay, fair enough. I don't know if I care enough about that. So, oh, I don't seem to have been able to place it. Interesting. Maybe because I don't have any tables. Let's see if putting a table in will help me. Create objects. Objects we'll leave until later. First things first, we'll create some tables. So there's booths, there's wall booths, there's standardized tables, sort of round tables, big chunky tables, and then you can just have chairs by themselves, and then you can have like decorations on your chair, on your tables. I am slightly drawn to this nice big round table with the red trim as i say oh oh no no we don't want chairs like that those are shit chairs ah there we go that's that's a slightly better chair i think i'm slightly drawn to the the nice wooden chair there so what we'll do is obviously we're, we're going to want more than more than one table in a restaurant because otherwise you know i might try and move that central table to be a bit more central in a moment or two Oh, nice black counter. Did a nice black counter. Yes, nice black counter. Do nicely. Moving my table. Whoops. No. Undo that. Oh, mm. I don't know what I've done. That. Right, so we want this one about there. That's fine. Now. Right, now we've got this one. No, that's right. <laughs> I don't know how this controls all that much. Right, that is now a lot more central. I just need to then replace... The <laughs> replace the bloody thing uh, that I managed to get rid of. So we'll place this and we'll try and make it approximately symmetrical with the other side. So it's something along the lines of that. That'll do nicely. Mm, that's what we want indeed. Now let's see if we want to put some fancy art on our walls. So you've got like restaurant logos. I'll introduce those restaurants a little bit later because you can do chef for hire, which is quite nice. Then you've got some graffiti type things. I don't really want graffiti. Then this is where you get these strange little artifacts. Money. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, coins. So more money. And then a sort of lasso, a black dress, a sort of Gilet. Yeah. Then maybe I don't know a, a hoodie. Oh, it's a military hooded. Oh no, it's not hooded, is it? It's a hat. But general military stuff. Cowboy boots. A nice white leather jacket. Labelled Dragon. I mean that feels oddly apropos. But I don't know if I really want clothing. I suppose. Eh. You know what? Fuck it. Let's have some clothing in here. Let's have the dragon jacket in the centre. I know the light kind of takes over, but you've got to technically suspend your disbelief and assume that the dragon jacket is visible from the people on the tables. Just because it's not necessarily visible to us doesn't make it a bad restaurant design. So we've got Tron, Dragon and Looks, I believe that says. Now, the crucial thing I wanted to put in, because of what this is, I want to put some seasonal bits for Christmas. Yes, we want a Christmas tree. Mm, covering the window, yeah, it makes some degree of sense, because they'd, they'd essentially have to put the Christmas tree wherever it was possible. Presents. 
Not behind the tree, ideally. That kind of sucks. Can the big present? No. Can the other little presents? No. It looks suspiciously like I'm stuck. Stuck with presents being elsewhere. I suppose. Mm, presents over there. A presents over there. Just a big old stack of presents. That's what we want. If I was to place a tree now. Ah, okay. That's an interesting thing then, right. So I sort of. Hmm, right. I kind of need to delete the tree. <laughs> Delete the tree. Delete the. Delete the fucking tree. Delete the tree there. And now I kind of want to delete some of those presents. Because I might do something else. So delete all the objects. That's mildly annoying. Yes, I want it. No, I don't want edit. I want create. Let's create some more. Uh, creating objects turned out to be a bit of a fucking nuisance. Lots of presents there. So I want presents both sides, but we'll only have one tree, I think. And hopefully now, now I place the tree, the presents are in front of the tree. That's what we wanted in our little Christmas restaurant. That's not what I wanted. Mm, it doesn't 100% look terrible. So I think what we might do is have a big present that side bollocking bollocky bollocks. Can we put them in front? Yes, that'll probably do. I want the other grouping. I d you poopy. So maybe one is in front and then one. Oh, one is behind. Uh, I've got far too many presents there, but it will do. None of those. None of those. And I don't didn't find much love for the balloons, so I think that might be my Christmassy restaurant. Do you like it? You don't have to say yes. Brunch, afternoon blues, Rose City. Dusk approaches, electric grid. Nighttime fun. Darkness falling. It's late enough. Ooh, black pavement. It's another day. I think I quite like nighttime fun. Oh, I bet you fucking do, son. I think that's exit designer, yes. Well, there you go. You've experienced a little bit of cook server delicious. Not the main thing. A little bit of design work where I've placed my bits and pieces in my restaurant and themed it for Christmas. Which is what we are celebrating after all. Well, almost approximately. So here we go. Cook Serve Delicious is our restaurant. We can choose to work in our restaurant. We build the menus ourselves. We then experience the day in our own restaurant. Or what you can do is these other options, the Max Wieners, Chinese food, all the sports, burrito, poppers and crunchies. All of these that are listed here are chefs for hire. So essentially what you're doing is you're becoming the chef for that restaurant. So the game chooses the menus. The game chooses the restaurant decor because each restaurant has its own decorations. So sub solutions is very different to all the sports grill. What we're going to do first is going to go through my own restaurant. You can see I, I've done this a few times before. I don't think I've got anything else here. Yeah, so I've got craft beer and soda fountain available as drinks for my patrons. I've got mac and cheese, roasted cauliflower and stuffed artichokes as sides. And then I've currently got some donuts. I could change that out for all sorts of things. So we've got, as general dishes available, we have pretzels, cereal, Salisbury steak, tre a, a trelech, a trelech. Tres leches, three milks. I don't know. One assumes French, some form of French cake, glazed donut, stuffed peppers, whole cakes, and fuck doing whole cakes. They were hard work. They were hard work. Although. 
no, right, they're not that hard work. They came as a surprise. That was what happened. Sa sausage and sauerkraut, pot pie, prime rib, chicken nuggets, and a chopped brisket sandwich. So what I think I'll do is try and figure out all what dishes I want to do. Right. Well, instead of the donuts, although oh, donuts are really easy because you just go donuts in, donuts done, and then you dish them up because they're a hot serve dish, as can be seen there. I believe that stands for hot serve. I think so. Essentially, you'll see it in game. You can prep them early and then immediately send them out to the customer. That you don't have to do anything sort of on the fly, as it were. I kind of like the look of that listing, but what I think I'll do is I'll change the nuggets out for the brisket, primarily because I've never used the brisket. Most of these others I am reasonably familiar with, but the brisket, no idea. So that's going to be an experience, isn't it? And now, let's find out how this game plays. And you can use a controller. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, my heart usually lies with a controller because controllers tend to be easier for me. But this game, oh, this game kind of demands keyboard and it demands memory and it demands skill. Those three things I'm not great at, but I get through. Now, <laughs> let's see. And I, I apologise now because I suspect the commentary is going to be, right, one, and then ingredient, 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 two, ingredient, 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 three, ingredient, and I'm just going to repeat the ingredients I'm supposed to be putting in. And I might be worse doing it recording whilst talking, or I won't talk, one of the two. <laughs> I fear my performance in either side of the thing. Either the game or the talking is going to dip. Now, I can't imagine the talking side dipping any worse than it usually is, but nonetheless, we might see a, a fairly major decline. So let's go. We start the day. Right. First things first, almost always a good idea to get your stuff uh, into the hot pot. Hot pot. Hot serves. <laughs> Whatever the fuck they are. Right, let's, uh, macaroni's nice and easy because you just push M. Right, while we're dealing with this. Okay, so you've got your orders to the left-hand side. What you have to do is they the orders come in, you then push the order you've got, you then, they want a prime rib with seasoning, so you press P for your prime rib, S for your seasoning, then you press enter and away they go. Donuts, as I say, you prep the donuts in a hot serve area, and then boom, bada bing, bada bam, people come in, they go, I'd like a donut. Uh, here, have a donut. You can do it reasonably quickly as well. So if you happen to know, like me, that the steak is butter steak, you can just go butter steak. Like flushing the toilet is flush S. So you flush, then you sanitize. This is why the keyboard is really quite useful. Because what you see is there's uh, some twisted ones that kind of get me confused. But ultimately, green pepper cuts hollow. Right, white rice is your R for rice, and then cheese is C for cheese. It's not... So here, steak... I'm not actually looking at the commands. I know you can't tell that, but I, I'm going to say for the record, what I'm looking at is that middle bit that says steak and gravy, and I just happen to... Oh, well, that's ruined that one. <laughs> it's very easy. Oh, uh, trash it, sanitise it, flush it, sanitise it. It's very easy to push the wrong button in this, and you know my record for pushing the wrong button, because, well, I'm always pushing the wrong button. But, it, and because of that, now, oh, okay, now, now's the point where it's going to go downhill, because if you were unaware, it just launched up and stated categorically that we are in rush hour. Now, rush hour, quite potentially, obviously, uh, oh god, I don't know how to do this, roast beef, spicy sauce, and then top the bun is usually O. It does have its own sort of logic, so as I said there, topping the bun is usually the O key. Likewise, I, I've started, unfortunately, using the word nunions, and that's not meant to be some kind of reference to John Richardson's jokes, although I do like John Richardson's jokes. If you've never experienced John Richardson, do look him up. He's very entertaining. But you see, what happens, orange pepper, cut it hollow, ground uh, meat is on... Uh, okay, ground meat is one of those annoying ones, because ground meat sometimes registers as M for ground meat, and sometimes registers as um, G for ground meat. 
mildly annoying. Right, off you go with your... Oh, I clearly did the peppers wrong. I don't know why I did the peppers wrong that time. And by it, I don't know... Uh, you know, I know I did them wrong. It just doesn't give me any real feed. I suppose at this point, I will potentially be able to... Right, I need to hot serve some more donuts. Uh, do, 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 do. This is not a game that's... Uh, we'll stick in some more macaroni. It's easy. Uh, right, so the trash chore is, is an interesting one, which I'll try and explain. So M gravy. I don't know what the M stands for. M meaty gravy? No, that seems un unlikely. It's plausible. So I, I really want to try and explain how this game works, but it's really difficult. <laughs> I told you that. I told you the audio, uh, the, the voiceover bit was gonna go horribly wrong. Primary, we want prime sauce. No. What you have to do. And I'll try and do it slowly here. So here, this person has brought in a, uh, an order and he wants a spicy brisket sandwich. So what you do is you put in the roast beef with your R key, you put on the spicy sauce, and then you top the bun, then you push enter, and bada bing, bada boom, he's off with his order. I need to hot plate. So again, you put down the brisket for B, you inject it with your stuff, um, whatever that stuff is, I don't know, and then you season it, and then it started cooking. Dishwasher, you put the dishes in, you begin the wash, and then you release unload sanitize. Four, you lock the trap, set the trap, uh, then the, um, you know, uh, what do you want? Red pepper, cut hollow, rice, cilantro is L, uh, free, sauerkraut. So we want the kraut, the brown sugar, and the sausages. Now we want another sauerkraut, so we put the kraut in, the brown sugar in, put the sausages in. Uh, we put the kraut in, the brown sugar, the sausages in. Uh, where are we at? So let's deal with the peppers first. Peppers off you pop. Let's deal with the roast beef, barbecue sauce, top bun. One, uh, five, let's deal with that. Roast beef, barbecue sauce, top bun. Two, open the machine, seal the machine. One, yellow pepper, cut it hollow. Spinach is on S. Spinach is another one that takes the piss and changes frequently, but never mind. Roast beef, spicy sauce, top the bun. Six, off you pop. Two, prime rib seasoning, off you pop. Three, roast beef, barbecue sauce, brisket, off your pot. Two, prime rib seasoning, off your pot. Four, trap it, sanitize it. Trash, trash it, man mash, mash it, off your pot. Beer, beer's an annoying one that is so easy to get wrong because what you have to do is you hold P, which is oddly apropos for the whole it's beer. You hold your P, <laughs> you hold P for pour, and what that does, so yellow pepper again, nice and logical, yellow, why? You then cut it, slash hollow it, then you need some couscous on O and some cheese on C. And then you have to flush the toilet as one of your chores, and then the prime rib seasoning. So, right, okay. Again, while, while we're in the quiet moment, in fact, the day is almost coming to an end, which is quite nice. So let's deal with your peppers, then deal with butter steak, then deal with the washing up. As you can tell, because I've been playing this game a reasonable amount of time, you can just hear in the background, I'm sure. Tap, tap, tip, 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 tap, tip, 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 tap, tip, tip, tap, tip, tip. While we're waiting for his steak to cook, I'll try and explain some more bits and pieces. So the orders come in on the left-hand side. You've got your hot serves at the top there. When he places an order, you saw I pushed the number key representing that order. So for this final section, I pushed two. You then push S for the steak. You then check what sort of gravy does he want. He can have gravy, M gravy or O gravy. One assumes O gravy is onion gravy. M gravy, as I say, maybe meaty gravy. I don't know if you really consider, because I, I would have thought gravy is gravy. Like pie is a pie. The gravy is a gravy. So I, I didn't do too badly. A couple of average orders. I know I spotted one average order that I clearly fucked up, but don't know why I fucked it up. And I missed the other average order. So I don't know precisely. <laughs> you might know more as to why I fucked them than I do. Because when you're in the moment, when you're in the restaurant, it's like, whoa, I have the boom, 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 boom. 